The Structuralist Activity is an influential essay by Roland Barthes, a prominent French literary theorist and philosopher. It was originally published in 1964 and offers key insights into structuralism as a method of literary analysis. Here is a brief summary of The Structuralist Activity. In The Structuralist Activity, Barthes explores the principles and aims of structuralism as a mode of understanding and interpreting literature. He highlights the importance of examining the underlying structures and systems within a text rather than focusing solely on its surface-level meaning. Barthes argues that structuralism involves deciphering the internal organization and relationships of various elements within a literary work. It aims to uncover the underlying codes and structures that shape the text's meaning and significance. These structures can include linguistic patterns, narrative devices, cultural symbols, and social conventions. According to Barthes, structuralism seeks to identify the underlying rules and systems that govern the production and interpretation of meaning in a literary work. It emphasizes the interplay between different elements and their roles in generating meaning and signification. The essay also discusses the idea of the death of the author, a concept closely associated with Barthes. He suggests that the role of the author in determining the meaning of a text is limited, as the meaning is derived from the interaction between the reader and the text itself. Barthes argues for the reader's active participation in the construction of meaning, emphasizing the significance of the reader's interpretations and perspectives. Overall, the structuralist activity introduces readers to the principles and objectives of structuralism as a method of literary analysis. Barthes highlights the importance of uncovering the underlying structures and systems that shape a text's meaning and emphasizes the reader's role in the interpretation process. The essay has had a significant impact on literary theory and continues to influence discussions on the nature of meaning and interpretation in literature. Here is a simplified point-wise summary of the Structuralist Activity, by Roland Barthes, explained in simple terms with examples. Structuralism in Literature Barthes introduces the concept of structuralism, which involves examining the underlying structures and systems within a literary work to understand its meaning. It looks beyond surface-level interpretation and focuses on the internal organization of elements. Example Imagine analyzing a poem by looking at the recurring patterns of rhyme, rhythm, and imagery. By studying these structural elements, we can uncover deeper meanings and connections within the poem. Uncovering Underlying Codes Structuralism aims to identify the rules and systems that govern the production and interpretation of meaning in literature. It involves deciphering the hidden codes and structures that shape a text's significance. Example When analyzing a novel, we might look at recurring symbols, metaphors, or motifs that carry symbolic meanings throughout the story. By understanding these underlying codes, we can grasp the author's intended messages and themes. The Death of the Author Barthes discusses the idea that the author's role in determining a text's meaning is limited. He suggests that meaning is constructed through the interaction between the reader and the text, emphasizing the reader's active participation in interpretation. Example Consider reading a book where different readers interpret the same passage differently based on their personal experiences and perspectives. Each reader brings their own understanding and assigns meaning to the text, illustrating the reader's role in shaping interpretation. Reader's Participation Barthes highlights the importance of the reader's active involvement in constructing meaning. The reader's interpretations and perspectives contribute to the overall understanding of a text. Example When reading a poem, the reader's own emotions, background, and cultural context can shape their interpretation. This demonstrates how the reader actively engages with the text and brings their own experiences to the process of meaning-making. In summary, the structuralist activity explores the principles of structuralism in literature. It involves uncovering underlying structures and codes, understanding the reader's role in interpretation, and analyzing the active participation of the reader in constructing meaning. These concepts help us delve deeper into a text's significance and the ways in which meaning is generated in literature. Focus on relationships and patterns. Structuralism looks at the relationships and patterns between elements in a literary work to understand how they contribute to its meaning. It seeks to identify recurring themes, contrasts, or oppositions within the text. Example In analyzing a play, we might examine the relationships between characters, their interactions, and conflicts. By studying these relationships, we can gain insight into the dynamics and themes of the play. 
Emphasis on the internal coherence of the text. Structuralism emphasizes the internal coherence and logic of a literary work. It explores how various elements within the text relate to and support each other, creating a unified whole. Example. When analyzing a short story, we might focus on how the characters, plot events, and setting all work together to convey a particular message or theme. The coherence of these elements contributes to the overall meaning of the story. Importance of systems and conventions. Structuralism recognizes the influence of broader systems and conventions, such as cultural or literary norms, on the meaning of a text. It considers how these systems shape the way we interpret and understand literature. Example. When analyzing a novel set in a specific historical period, we take into account the social and cultural conventions of that time. Understanding these conventions helps us grasp the intended meanings and messages conveyed in the story. Critique of Traditional Literary Criticism Barthes challenges traditional literary criticism that focuses solely on the author's intentions or historical context. He argues for a more systematic approach that examines the structures and codes within the text itself. Example, instead of solely analyzing an author's biography or historical context, structuralism encourages a closer examination of the formal elements of a text, such as language, symbolism, or narrative structure, to uncover its meaning. By considering these additional points, we gain a broader understanding of the structuralist activity and its emphasis on relationships, coherence, systems, and a departure from traditional approaches to literary criticism.